Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the top, t not top 10, top 8 Mario Kart DS Cups. Mario Kart DS is not my favorite, co my favorite game, but it's one of my favorites. And number 8 will have the Mushroom Cup, which has two really boring tracks to start off the game, which are Figure 8 Circuit and Yoshi Falls. Pretty, pretty lame tracks. Cheap Cheap Beach and Luigi's Mansion kind of, kind of copies it. I mean, like, makes it better, complements it, I mean. But it's still the worst cup. Number seven is the banana cup. And the banana cup has tracks that were amazing in the nitro versions of them and terrible retro tracks. Donut Plains 1, Frappe Snowland, GBA Bowser Castle 2. And Baby Park. Yes, Baby Park. You gotta play it more Cartius to understand what I mean by it's a terrible track. Number six. We'll have the Star Cup. I was never really a fan of the Star Cup. DK Pass and Mario Circuit really aren't my favorite tracks. At least we have some good track, Tick Tock Clock, but the real stand out is Airship Fortress. One of my favorites of all time. Too bad it isn't in a cup with three other good tracks. Yes, TikTok Clock, but I get kind of bored playing it. Okay. On to number five, which is the Shell Cup, which has the start of it all Mario Circuit 1, Moon Farm, Peach Circuit, and GCN Luigi Circuit. All the retro tracks will get a little bumped down because of their GCN tracks, as Minecraft DS really ruined them. Beach Circuit was never really a good track, and neither was Mario Circuit 1. With the last circuit track in the cup, and the last track in the cup, GCN Luigi Circuit, being upscaled, and have not that many special items from Mario Kart Double Dash, it's boring and lame. <coughs> Anyways. Move farm, but at number four, I'll put the Leaf Cup, which includes Koopa Beach One, Choco Choco Mountain, um, Luigi GBA Luigi Circuit, two Luigi Circuits in the game. What are the chances? And Mushroom Bridge. This is actually where we have good tracks. I mean, the first two tracks are pretty awesome from Super Mario Kart. GV Luigi Circuit, like most circuits, and like most tracks from Mario Kart Super Circuit and Super Mario Kart, uh, wasn't that good. Mushroom Bridge was ruined, as we all expected, but it's only that you can't go through the pipe at the beginning, you can't go on the sidewalk, there's no mushroom cars, and you can't go up the bridge, which I always found. Let's do this all the time on Mushroom Bridge. Well, they're gone now. Okay. On to number three, which is the Flower Cup. This is higher than many people would put it, but I've put it up higher for for two tracks, Desert Hills and Waluigi Pinball. I said Desert Hills. I'm one of the few people that actually like Desert Hills. And my Desert Hills in this game would probably be <coughs> Yoshi Falls. But Delfino Square, don't leave it out. And I am not a fan of Sherm Ridge though. Delfino Square is a recreated town of Delfino Plaza and Mario Sunshine. Well, we do pinball has you racing in a giant pinball machine. Desert Hills is 
hills and desert. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Right? Right? Stream Ridge is like a highway track, and I don't really like highway tracks. If you ever do one for Mario Kart 64 or Mario Kart Wii, you'd understand why. Number two is the Lightning Cup, which has Choco Island 2, Banshee Boardwalk Sky Garden, and Yoshi Circuit. Yoshi Circuit is missing two shortcuts. Um, the one at the very end, and the one out of the one at the tunnel one. It's not the end of the world. Sky Garden is pretty good track. It hasn't really changed. Banshee Boardwalk the same, but I've never really been a fan of Banshee Boardwalk. And Choco Island 2, like Banshee Boardwalk, is... I've never been a fan of it. Which means number one is the Special Cup. With Wario Stadium, Peach Gardens, Bowser Castle, and Rainbow Road. Like every other track, I mean every other cup, there's at least one bad track here. And that award, which you don't really want, is Peach Gardens for me. Wario Stadium is a <coughs> good track. Played at nighttime, but in Mario Kart 8 it's at daytime. There's a lot of ramps, and I love ramps. Bowser Castle has that spinny thingy, and I love that. DS Rainbow Road. I love that one. I mean, well, you've got to play it yourself to understand. So that's what I'm going to do from now on. I'm going to do a lot of these videos. So, yeah, enjoy them. Please subscribe, like. And I will catch you next time. My Mario Kart 9 will have to be suspended for a little later though. Bye.